This week, Mickey James is our Impact Player of the Week. Wrestling was always like me and my dad's thing. And he was an avid wrestling fan. I grew up watching wrestling, and I watched Georgia Championship Wrestling, and all this local, like the, what would come on the local stations. And he would, he would go, like, it'd cut to commercial breaks, and I'd come off the couch, you know, with an elbow on my little brother or on my dad. And then, uh, but I never really, like, was like, you know, my ultimate dream in life is to be a professional wrestler. I just was an avid wrestling fan, and I loved it. Being as competitive as I am, I, you know, certainly tried my best to become the best and not just you know better than any girl but better than any guy because I think that speaks paramount about like just I think people a lot a lot of times they put that stigma oh she's a girl so she's kind of dainty or this or that and I grew up on a horse farm I was throwing hay bales and I've gotten kicked and thrown and everything else and my grandma would be like you gotta get back on so for me like I knew I was tougher than a lot of the guys so want to prove it if i reach a goal i set a new goal i'm constantly like it's never good enough like constantly raising the bar and for me i think that you just have to continue to better yourself and if you just start thinking if you're complacent and being this person then it just becomes dull and boring and i'm just that's not who i am so it's not just competitive against every other female wrestler out there or or just in general, I think it's just competitive against myself, constantly raising the bar. Wow, that is true. I have come full circle. And to see it from, you know, not just my humble beginnings, but the, the beginnings of TNA from the when we were just here in Nashville, and to grow into what it has become, I think is really something special. And for me to be able to come back and join TNA and become a part of it, when it has blown up to be so big, I know that I have something to offer and to bring to TNA and now TNA also has something different from before that they like when they would give me my gave me my start and get me this opening where I was out there and people were just getting to know who Mickey James was and now I'm coming back and people know what TNA is people know who Mickey James is the biggest rush that you get is standing out in front of that curtain and then when they hit your music and you just hear the roar of the crowd I mean there's no thrill, it's like when you come through there and you can hear, like that energy just, it fuels me. You know, like whether they're cheering me or booing me out of the building, it's, there's, it's really just like, a, I, it's, an, it's a certain type of energy and it kind of like fuels that passion and that desire. It's hard to say who might be like a competition. I can tell you that I think that anyone that I go in there, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give 120%. You know, I'm a force to be reckoned with. You know, there, there's only one Mickey James, that's for sure. One person who I know probably has it out for me, and it was probably not my biggest fan, nor am I her biggest fan is Tara. So I just, I can't wait to see her again. I wouldn't come in for any other reason but to take over. I'm all about making history. I'm going after the TNA Knockouts Women's title, and I don't think there's anybody that's going to stop me.